What's up YouTube? Welcome back. My Beth check. Today's episode, we're drinking Yerba Maid, which also has green in it. And let's design, where I take some challenges and I try and do something cool with it. On today's episode, as you can tell behind me, is the Disney Pixar new Soul movie, which is streaming on Christmas Day. You know what? Play the pre preview for a second. All right, that's enough. Don't want to get sued. Anyways, or have this video taken down for copyright anyways. <sighs> enough of me mumbling. Grab a drink, whether it be Yerba or some good old H2O. Let's sit back and let's see what I can come up with. Since last video, I've upgraded a lot. Well, the first video on this channel wasn't so much a design challenge, but a how-to. But I recently picked up a Wacom or a Wacom tablet with a little pen, so we're gonna be utilizing that a lot. And so, long story short, this challenge is they're teaming up, team up with Adobe. Ugh, I haven't had a year in so long. Anyways, on Instagram include yada yada. And by the looks of it, it doesn't it doesn't seem like there's a lot of rules on like how how it should look or what like what aspect ratio. But we're gonna be using on that. Oh shoot, cover that up. So we're gonna use my recommended. I don't know if it's recommended, but we're gonna be using what I use when I create cover arts. And then I'm gonna be creating another cool video in the coming weeks on a original cover art. How I design them is I go, let's do soul cover art. And then I do it. So this is SoundCloud. No, this is this is the regular 400 by 400 seems like the go-to what I've been using for years and works for Bandcamp. Well, Bandcamp and SoundCloud, I'm pretty sure you have to do 800 by 800 pixels. SoundCloud cover art size. 800 by 800, look at that. That's SoundCloud's 800 by 800. Let's make this as if I was designing a SoundCloud cover. So, you're you're on here we're gonna open up art and soul challenge wow that's a lot so i haven't actually looked at any of the stuff i wanted this video just to be like a first first experience as to what what we're getting for our assets looks like there's a couple of psds already in here oh all right i'm liking what uh i'm liking what's here let's go okay so let's just grab assets from from this so, so we're gonna go control duplicate layer and then bring it into here i'm also gonna give myself a timer okay so let's see what i can come up with in a half an hour so stop watch. So timer, let's give myself a half an hour and let's what let's see what I can create in a half an hour. Okay, so I'm gonna be using my little fancy pen tablet. So ooh, wow. This is a big image. This is a big one. Okay, so we're gonna grab this get into here. Okay, so I'm liking what this this is already. And then Oh yeah, so we're gonna, I've also recently been doing this, is creating artboard. Oh goodness, I swear I know what I'm doing. We're not doing the, okay, so we're gonna need, I need this. Actually, no, let's just drag this. I'm gonna lose half the time if I just continue on tool. Okay, so, whoop. So yes, in order to drag a layer into another fi file, you have to make sure you have you, you actually place it on your board. And now a pro tip, all you entry level designers out, out there, is what I do is anytime I start a project, I make a folder called backup. So in case you make something, in case you make a change and you wanna revert back to what you had before, you can just instantly go in there, don't edit, don't edit that that folder because in, in, instead of just going back to where you have the fi file already, you can just stay inside Photoshop at all at all times. Not oh, I think I'm opening that 
Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, not really what I'm going for. Well, shout out to Stun. Shout out to the homeboy for killing it in 2018. Oh, there's a PSD called Stairs. Let's hit that. Oh, I like this as the background. I think I'm going to use this back. So to duplicate, you go Command J. Super simple. Okay, so let's see. Actually, you know what? Let's try that. Oh, okay. Oh, ooh, okay. Did I now, did I duplicate the background? Yep. Also, save as much as possible art. Instagram notification, boom. Okay, so, and save as much as possible. Now, for this whole design challenge, it didn't say what you can and cannot do with it. So for, for me, as far as I know, is you have to use all the assets that they included. So as just a challenge for myself, even too, is I'm gonna use only, only stuff that's included in this folder. So let's see what this stairs PSD is. If I was sponsored, this would be the time that I'd say, from a message uh, from my sponsor. Ooh, let's try this. Oh, there's a lot of moving pieces for this. Okay, let's create a folder. Drag this over here. Boom, whoa, perfect. All right, thanks for, just kidding. So we're gonna copy this, bring it over here. In this stairs, resize it. This is a big old stairs. These are big stairs. All right, ooh. All right, that's gonna be out of, whoa. Okay, come down here. It looks like we got a background on this transform. See if I can do this. Oh, it's done. Well, five minutes has already gone by. It flies when you're having fun. Okay, so it looks like there's some gradient on this. That actually might look cool. Let's try it out. Let's open it up. So apparently Disney's really trying to let me know that these are all copyright. Can I, oh, perfect. Okay, there, love it. We're going for some Pink Floyd abstractness. I wanna see. So now this is this is a perfect example. How, how's my hair? This is a perfect example of why you should duplicate your folders. It's free, doesn't take a lot, lot of time because I'm going to try, I wanna try and see what happens if I bring the stairs all the way up. Why is the blue in the background? That's weird. Okay, so let's try it out. And the worst thing in designing is not trying out things. So I'm not the biggest fan of that. Boom, just kidding. Ah, oh, ah, come on. Oh, okay, so let's see. Even if I do it like this, uh, then, okay, no, I don't think, oh, yeah. I don't think this would actually look good. Let's try that. How does that look? I have, I can zoom in and out on this thing. Look at this, how cool is that? Technology, hey? Okay, no, let's just delete that. Okay, let's see what, what else is in this folder of fun stuff. Okay, so, er, I noticed that there's some cool, like, is this transparent? No, but we're gonna see if we can make it transparent. Cool, actually, no one might look cool. Oh, that's trippy. Oh, that's trippy. And looks kind of cool, but I'm not the biggest fan of it. Are there any assets of the characters that are in it? Half No Jazz Club, that might look cool. So there's a lot in this, but there's not a lot, if that makes sense. Okay, so in this case, we're gonna up an open up Illustrator. We're gonna do a little too, too crazy art and soul. We're using, okay, so let's see what do we have here. Oh, yes, this, this one and that one. Okay, I wanna get, so what, what's cool about, well, what's cool is that you can bring assets from Illustrator into Photoshop and then look at that well where'd it go so you can bring which i think is really cool slap that into okay so well what do i do what happens when you try to use a pen as a mouse okay, there was another cool asset one that i wanted to grab i just do like a really cool pattern oh that's cool oh i didn't i didn't really need to open that one actually I want to see if we could do it, could do anything with this to the stairs. I think I actually like where the stairs are. So it doesn't say anything about how you can't add like glowing effects. So we're going to try that. Or the, I, I have this nice blue glowing effect that I've been using a fair bit, but let's add it into a white. Let's crank down the noise. 
seems all perfect. Let's crank the size. This looks weird. Noise. That's what I liked. What it was. Can I? Can you add? What would it look like if we did it on this one? Perfect. You know what we could also do, and just call it a day for a design. Let's just do this. And I think you can. I think you can only enter once or twice. Okay. So we're gonna. So this is a perfect example. Okay, so we're gonna duplicate and then bring it into here. That one was, oh, let's try this actually. The stairs, two, two designs into one. You know what? Every time you duplicate it, it brings this white or this background into it. And then let's make the stairs actually go into, what happens if we flip it? Okay. What happens if we do this? I don't think this is gonna look good. Oh, no. Oh, mm -mm. Not a fan. I thought it would look cool. Almost, well, only if it was like two more stairs. Actually, that kind of looks cool. And then let's duplicate it, bring it back. Bring it, bring this beat back, back. What, why is it? What is that? That's kind of cool. Oh, what? That's cool. Okay, let's duplicate. Half this video is just me trying to mess around with the stairs. I think it looks kind of cool just with a blue background. Actually, so that's kind of what I wanted to do. How about double stairs? That's too much. No, let's do this. This is also a perfect example on how much designs change within. I don't, I shouldn't be speaking for every designer, but I'm speaking for, for myself. And I've been designing for 11 years. Just over 11, well, like 10 years. No, let's bring this back. Put this here. I don't know why they didn't have any of the assets of the, of who even plays in, in, in this movie. That's my question. Soul. I feel like I should be doing this after, or I should just done it at, at the start. Oh, Jamie Foxx, not Will. Oh, Jamie Foxx and Tina Fey. Tina Fey plays as a character called 22, right? That's something. What else we got? What assets do we got? Okay, we got that, we got that one. Bev check. <sighs> That's kind of cool. Not I could even do just this. Call it a simple day. Why is it not dragging onto it? <laughs> Let's go like this. <laughs> Boom, just kidding. That wasn't it. I like, okay, let's grab these, let's grab this, cover, boom, boom, da, 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 da. actually not, because then I'm going to, oh, bring this, wow, look at that, look at that size, oh, 15 more minutes, actually, that actually kind of looks cool, and J, oh, okay, I think I'm on to something, only took me. So sometimes designing, you can get something like really quick or really not so quick. Okay, uh, what happens if we take the stairs out? I think the stairs might be left out. Hmm, let's do this. Let's bring this, let's bring that, let's go there. Let's do a little gradient. Nope, don't want artboard. Okay, so then we're gonna bring out the gradient tool. Let's see how it, and let's drag it. And then let's do a little, okay, let's take this. Let's go over here. Boom. Ooh, that looks cool. I'm liking this, I'm liking it. What if we, okay, so just for the sake of experimenting, what if we bring the black down? Whoa. Uh-oh. What if we bring... It doesn't say that we can't do this. So let's bring the black down. So let's copy this layer, rasterize it so we can mess around with it. And since this is going to be staying on screen, as far as I know, and rasterizing stuff isn't the biggest deal. Oh, we don't want that space. Okay. Whoop. Oh, boom. What? Okay, boom, save. I even saved it in a couple of minutes. The map, map, oh, my tab's coming out. So I wanted to almost be where this, you, you notice how there's that little dark spot? I wanna try and get it. So it just looks like a nice fluid. Oh, like that, boom. So I'm cool of Disney. 
Okay, I'm liking this way better. What happens if we just bring... Actually, you know what? This is looking good. I'm liking this a lot better. Let's add a, just a nice little drop shadow. Drop shadow. Yo, okay. Using this Way Wacom tablet is actually a ton of fun. Oh, baby. <coughs> I can't drink. Excuse me. <coughs> oh, goodness. Okay, yes. Oh, this is also a really cool guiding tool too, is you can drop down these little lines and they're rulers and you can, wow, I'm totally blanking. So you can make sure everything is centered or like is, yeah, centered. Oh shoot, 11 minutes. And when it's, when it goes into this like pink, Pink, purple, why is it not doing it? <gasps> Dropbox is running out of space. Dun, dun, Q, Mission Impossible. Music. When it does that, um, like purple-ish Q, computer crashes. Um, I shouldn't joke about that. I've been having the worst time with computer stuff. Okay, so that's centered. Just for the kick of it. What if we move this Pixar Disney down? I look, I'm looking at this a bit more and I'm feeling that it's not the right move. So we're gonna go Command Z, go Command Z until it's back to its original spot. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty pumped on how it's looking. It's clearly completely different. We're not doing this stairs. Actually, you know what? Let's try something. I was thinking, you know, I'm thinking, bring these stairs back in to the play. And then let's do what I did with the sparkles. And let's just rig, where's the gradient? Where's the stairs? Why is it black? Why is this? Uh oh, why did it just automatically go to block? Table layer mask. Weird. Okay, let's just do. Oh, goodness. Delete. Delete. I don't know why it just automatically went. Oh, shoot. We have five minutes. I'm pretty much just rambling and. Oh, no. I want to keep this actually like pretty simple. So then it looks pretty cool. Okay, what else do we got? Let's just do some last minute browsing. What do we got here? But this is. Pretty, pretty simple. Actually, you know what? Oh, I didn't delete it. I just took it out or I closed the program. Actually, it might be a little too intense, Kate. Let's open it up, Photoshop. Try one last thing. Been a little crazy. This might take away from the simplistic color, but what happens if I, oh, I might be onto something. Oh, that actually kind of looks cool. Oh, no. Mm, I thought I saw something that looked pretty cool. No, maybe, you know what? This might just be one of those designs where it's just keep it simple. Keep it simple, keep it clean. Boom, got it, just kidding. All right, you know what? I'm pretty much satisfied with this. Definitely not what I thought it was gonna be like, but what? Back. But you know what? I'm pretty, I'm pretty satisfied with how this is looking. Clearly, like I keep on repeating myself, not as crazy as I thought. I also, when I first opened it at the beginning of this video, I thought I didn't, I wasn't sure what to expect with, with the assets. I definitely thought that Jamie Foxx, like they were gonna have a character, Jamie Foxx's character as one of the assets. So completely different. But that's not to say that I'm not pleased with what I came up with because usually with cover arts, I like to keep it simple and just get it straight to the point. And there's no other like text. So can't be disappointed with something. Oh. Boom, with two minutes to spare. You see how like calmly I did that? Yeah, I'm stoked on that. Cause it, it adds to it. It's just perfect and just like that. Oh, two minutes, I have two minutes to decide. I think for artistic value of it, I'm gonna keep the waves in it. Boom. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, like, favorite, subscribe. Also something cool I'm gonna be adding into this into these videos is I'm gonna be suggesting a band that I think you should listen to. Of course, this is completely of my opinion, but on this week's episode, check out Death Machine. Anyways, cleared it. That was a fun challenge, if with a minute and 10 seconds to spare. Thanks for watching this video. If there is design challenges that you want me to crush or take a pawn and try and do let me know in the comments below and if this is something that interested you and if you learned something sweet if not that's also cool saying deuces and see you all in the next episode